Alrighty, hello everyone, so many on here, and today we're showing off the new complicated things in the HBM Nuclear Tech mod. So, anyway, today we're going to be learning about circuits and stuff. So, basically, the all of the, uh, the nukes and stuff in the HBM nuclear, uh, nuclear Tech mod have gotten more complicated. That's right, instead of crafting things how you would normally craft them, in the older versions of the HBM Nuclear Tech mod, this is now more complicated to craft. As you can see here, we have a new item called the Control Unit. This takes three of those. A steel C I don't know how it was originally crafted, I'll be honest, because I used the kit most of the time. I never actually crafted one of these. But anyway, so this appears to be all the stuff that used to go into it. I... <laughs> And now, it's actually gotten a little complicated. So we have the control unit and stuff now, which is actually pretty neat, except it's very expensive. All right, let's see. Let's see here. You need 16 titanium capacitors, 32 regular capacitors, 32 microchips, 16 lead wires, a speed upgrade mark one, and the control unit casing, which needs Bakelite or polymer. Uh, polymer ingots, two printed circuit boards, and a cathode ray tube. Honestly, I tried placing those down. It's kind of disappointing they don't actually get like placed down and look like all console-y or whatever. But, I, you know, that's probably just me just being particular. Anyway, so that's our capacitors here, which are pretty neat. We also have vacuum tubes, cathode ray tubes. This is our silicon wafer and our printed silicon wafers to like create circuits and stuff. We got gold plating. This is pretty much everything you need to create um, like printed circuit boards and all that fun stuff. Military grade circuit board is now used in the bomb firing unit in the uh, Fat Man, so that's pretty exciting. We have a versatile circuit board. I have no idea what that's for, but we'll learn eventually. All right, then we have the printed circuit board, which goes to create the uh, control unit housing. We have our regular control unit, which we actually need quite a lot of these to, det uh, you know, even detonate the uh, fat man over here. I'm not going to believe what this one takes. So anyway, so that's that. We have our versatile integrated circuit, lead wires, analog circuit boards, integrated circuit boards, capacitor boards. So this is a lot of like technical stuff. I I honestly probably call it like the technical or the electrical engineering update. So we're getting a lot of stuff that goes into like the electrical engineering field of like stuff. Like you could actually if you could create printed silicon wafers could you technically speaking build a computer in minecraft that's truly one of the big questions so anyway as i was saying about the ivy mic though the ivy mic has gotten more complicated because instead of the normal stuff that it used to take now it needs eight advanced control units and these are expensive these need uh 32 tatalanium uh capacitors, 48 capacitors, 16 versatile integrated circuits, 24 lead wires, and a speed circuit, a speed upgrade Mark III, which already is expensive too, because that takes like a lot of capacitors and stuff. And you have to upgrade from the previous versions too, which needs like vacuum tubes, red copper powder, and all that fun stuff. Like this is all very complicated stuff. So I guess this is like kind of like overclocking stuff. If you think about it. Wait, so anyway, we're gonna show off all the recipes. This is the advanced thingamabobber here. Advanced control unit. It's kind of cool, honestly. I like that. So we got a lot of stuff in here. This is pretty much anything that involves like soldering, circuit board creation, and all that fun stuff. Upgrades. This is actually pretty cool. This I think this is also a new block. I don't know, honestly. If I read the change log correctly, this is a new block. This is pretty cool, honestly. <laughs> um, this is the uh, in um, electrical engineering update. Honestly, 10 out of 10. It's pretty exciting. 
All right. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.